Howdy there, YouTube. Got here a 1986 F-150 Old Blue. Uh, that's what we call it. And uh, I've got this truck right here in another video from several years back, back when it was in its stock form. And uh, since then, it has changed hands. I am no longer the owner, but one of my friends is. So, we decided to build the truck into a rig, something kind of similar to that. And uh, the first thing we did was ditch the TTB. That's the twin traction beam front end. And uh, it's muddy under here right now, so you can't see a whole lot about it. But we put a, a, Dana, a solid axle under the front. A Dana 44 out of a 1979 model or so. And uh, I had to, of course, make some some steering for it. And uh, dang, well, there we go. I had to make some steering arms for it. There you can see they are. It's not too bad of an angle coming down here. And uh, stock 79 model Fords have uh, the tie rods under the knuckle. And that can be a problem if you hit rocks or stumps or something. So uh, we just took and um, flipped them to the top side of the knuckle. And I did that by making some uh, inserts on my lathe. So I'm out of cold rolled steel and I drilled the holes out and just welded them in. So that's how we flipped those to the top. And of course we went through the axle and put all new seals and joints and uh, ball joints and what have you in it. And got polyurethane bushings on the front and these are the seven degree bushings and uh, the front drive shaft worked as it was we're running six and a half inch super lift spring no actually I'm sorry six and a half inch Deaver springs and uh, we used a heim joint for the track bar and uh, the track bar mount is here on the frame and what we did is plated off um, this section because there's a lot of stress going on here with the track bar and the steering box and we built a bracket to hold the heim joint in place and uh, up front we used I think rear shocks off of like a night 1997 F-150 I'm not sure exactly but they have about 11 a little over 11 inches of travel but we still had to raise up the um, well you can't see it it's too dark but we still had to raise up the shock mount to uh, accommodate the shock in the factory location as you can see also we pushed the front axle forward about an inch or two just for a little better approach angle you can see there how close the tire is to the front bumper and that's just you know it's a good practice for off-roading now here are the uh cross member or not cross member the uh track bar nah i can't talk i'm gonna try that again the radius arm brackets and we took and uh we built these just uh from some scrap steel we had and uh right now they're not they work, but they're not exactly finished. They hang down a little too low for my taste, and we're going to run a cross brace between the two to add rigidity. And uh, I'll post an update when we do that. And this truck has got the stock 306 cylinder with a four speed transmission and a MP208, and that's plenty enough to pull these 38s, 38 and a half, with. Uh, factory years. In the back we're running a welded 8.8 .8 rear end and the factory shocks and uh, factory shocks had plenty of travel and I ended up having to make uh, some brackets to flip you know the uh, 